everyone. Welcome back to your place of chill. That is the coffee company. It's a really weird day today. It's really weird. The weather has been mad, is what I'm saying. It's been raining. It's been hailing. It's been sunny. Now it's overcast. It's doing this. It's just like Tottenham Hotspur's transfer philosophy. Uh oh. Ah, uh, well, yeah, it happens, it happens. But welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, we just got back from a lovely weekend in Lincoln with Lift or Miss Mickey. So it's been a been an interesting weekend. It was really lovely in Lincoln. Really lovely weather, really sunny, loads of good food if you know where to go. And yeah, I had a great time. Um, but it's time for a chat. I really need a second coffee. My brain... I'm deprived of coffee, deprived. I need it. But before we go to the chat, or before we have a coffee and have a chat, let's see who's in the audience so far. There's only six people in the chat, but I think there's other streams going on at the moment. Um, we've got my brother saying, Ja Ju Al Foot. That is le toxic. I do not know what it means, but it is um, and more people get offended when I do an accent. Uh, 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 sacre bleu. We've got the number one Agamar in the world. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Hopefully all well. We've got Stu Boy. Big up, Stu Boy. Good to see you, mate. Afternoon, Ben and everyone in chat. Good to see you, Stu Boy. we got Scotty M. Good to see you, Scotty M. Good to see you, mate. Hopefully all well. Good morning, Ben. I hope you are doing well. Yeah, I'm a bit tired. Um, I spent most of my time <laughs> running around Lincoln and going up the steepest hills on the, in the country. But my legs have survived. They have survived. My legs don't hurt at the moment. But it's been good. It's been good. But I do need a coffee. So let's make a coffee. Let's make a coffee. Need to change my bin. We need to change that. That's what we've got to do. I'm cleaning the ice machine today. I am cleaning my ice machine. Oh, that's really good. Um, but yeah, cleaning my ice machine. I need to put loads of water in. Get rid of the ice. Bang. We need to do it. We need to do it. It's that time of year. Ice machine season. Let's get some ice coffees ready for the summer. Uh, uh, how's everyone doing today? How is everyone doing? Hopefully you're all well. Let's see if they call me back. Probably a scam call anyway. Uh, do, 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 ice Ice Baby, absolutely. Ice Ice Baby. My lovely Mickey's in the house. My lovely Mickey's in the house. Everyone say hello to Mickey. Hopefully I'm in a good one there at work for me. Uh, uh, we got Chris, good to see you. Ice Ice, baby. How rude. Do they not know? No one cares that I stream anyway, mate, to be honest. We got Mickey. My lovely Mickey's in the house. 
Good to see you, Mickey. Hopefully you're having a great day at work so far. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'll call you later. Um, yeah, we've got my coffee. But yeah, how is everyone? How is everyone? But really good weekend. Really good weekend. Um, yeah. The Ayatollah? Who? What? Where is he? Is he in here? Hello? He's not in here. I can't see the Ayatollah. Where's the Ayatollah? I can't see him. He's not in any of my drawers. Maybe he's a buff? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh. No, nah, mate. No, nah, mate. Courtesy of Kenko. Courtesy of Kenko want to go for us. We, 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 will, we will fight back. We will fight back. We will fight back against them. Kenko, they got nothing on us. Oh, she get, did enjoy that. That's good. Hopefully, and she know there were probably a lot more things being given out on a Saturday than the world. That was nothing for me. It's a real shame. I really didn't enjoy it. I didn't even get to see my mates that sip drinks, even though they're lovely people. I, we'll have to see them at some point. And just a gentle reminder: if you haven't already become a member, you can become a member following this link from Nightbot. Nightbot knows all but let's have my coffee i actually found some semi-decent coffee in lincoln who would have thought it's a bit flavorless though but it was all right it was all right weren't bad it weren't bad indeed i have to go get some new shoes because i've already ruined my timberlands they've already can you believe this i'm i'm gonna have to make a bad review on timberlands i love timberlands um, but this is not acceptable. That is not acceptable for as expensive these trainers were. Look at that. I've already gone through them. Both sides. Both sides. That is really bad design. That is terrible. That is a really bad design. That, this, both, both sides. Both sides. Gone through them. That is terrible. That's really, it's, that's really upsetting, unfortunately. That's really... They, they should be better than that. I wore my other Timberlands all over Disney. I walked them all over the place. Not a single scratch from them. The soles just went in the end, right? All shoes do. But for the lining to go, my feet aren't that sharp, surely. But yeah, the Ayatollah of rock and roller is apparently coming. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? You can't get good child labour like you used to. Absolutely. Yes, please, Bobby. Yes, please. Yes, please. Good thing I didn't... Um, Good thing I didn't uh, write a strongly worded letter to um, to to Crocs because I found what I'd ordered and it arrived. It was there. My oh, for God's sake! Uh, brought us back some freebies, mainly biscoff and some oat milk, and also bought me some bottle. Oh, that's a good present. That's a good present. Uh, HK is coming to see you and the Rabs are for God's sake. I don't think they are because he would have sent me a message. That is just, that's clickbait. That is fake news. That is fake news. Love my Biscoff. Mickey is really good at doing stern, strongly worded emails. She is the best at it. It's just not on. How can I go through these shoes so quickly? But like, even the soles, the soles. These are brand new almost, and I've already degraded them. I've, they're t they're... 
Um, look, look, the soul. They're now they're positive. They've got negative camber, like a NASCAR. I've destroyed them. This is not on. <laughs> Can we do Karen or Darren? This is quite a good Karen, I think so. That's quite a good one. That's quite a good one. That's quite good. Quite good indeed. But that's not being a Karen. It's having expecting quality for spending lots of money. And you all know how I like to complain if that the quality is not good enough. I will talk about it. Yeah. Be right there. Good stuff, Coos. Good stuff, mate. Hopefully you're well. Good to see Coos is going to jump on with me and we're going to have a chat. And we're going to have a good laugh, as always, as we always do. But I needed to get a coffee. Needed to get a coffee. Um. Ooh. Let's have a look what's happening on here. Let's see what's happening on there. But no problems, Coves. No problems, mate. But yeah. But what needs to happen is I need to get a beer. Well, that's really nice now. Now it's really sunny. Big up, Lee Smithy Smith. Guardians of the Pombo are back. You are basically a member of the Guardians of the Pombo. How rude indeed. How rude. <laughs> it's not rude. It happens. It happens. It happens. There are too many streamers now to, to have a schedule. There are too many. It's um it's a difficult one. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> for God's sake. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Good to see you, Mia. Hopefully you're well, miss. Hopefully you're well. Big up, Mark CFC. Good to see you. Good to see you. I really hope they, because WWE actually pulled up one of my videos. They actually, um, they actually claimed one of my videos because of um, the, the the wrestling toxic alerts. I'm gonna have to change that, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if it was the video clip or it was the, um. um Do you reckon? Did you think that talking in my mother tongue is trying to is going to do anything about that? Will I really need to do a, a toxic in and is a Hebrew toxic? There we go. But here we go. Here we go. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Um, but yeah, uh, that uh, yeah, it's one of the things I actually was half decent at in school until I failed it. It's a real problem. Sod you, Miss Webber. Sod you, Miss Webber. Um, yeah. That's a really good coffee, actually. Really good coffee. How is everyone? How is everyone? It's really sunny all of a sudden, which is lovely. But I think all my cherry blossoms have been blown off the tree because of the wind this morning. But yeah, it's a really good weekend. I really like in the sunshine. No. Apparently it's going to rain again in like three few minutes. What is this nonsense of weather? What is it? I do know that, Stuart. I know it, Stuart. <laughs> I do know it. Football. They got Fay Vav to te, te, uh, Bol Vav Lamed and Will is now 
Will is now getting that. So Stuart. That is you being a tattletale, um, Stuart. That's you being a tattletale. Woke up to thunder and lightning. It is cold here. Sorry, Bubby. That's unfortunate. Uh, that's upsetting. But just wrap up warm. Put a jumper on. Been tanning and sunning all morning here as well. as bloody windy. Yeah, bloody winding. Uh, breaking news. The mighty Darlington won 3-1 on Saturday. Was we're staying up. Let's go out and see if Watson's black and white arm. We come on, Darlow. Oh, that is a toxic alert. Mr. Coover, how are you doing this morning? I, 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 I dare you toxic me just as I arrive. Very rude. I'm toxicing you, mate. You just timed it poorly. You <laughs> no, timed, it, you cool, timed right? it worse than Timo Werner's goal-scoring opportunity moments. That's that's just adding severe insult to the injury. I know it is, mate. And I have to toxic alert myself now. So... Uh, and on what bombshell? I'm off. <laughs> uh, uh, Stuart is, is a fan of tea tailed burns. He absolutely is. He is. He likes um, uh, ball of football. Ball of football. Bloody hell, Nick. What are, you, what are you? How are you today, Coves? You're all good? Yeah, just uh, navigating the minefield of usual YouTube dramas this morning. But um, Oh, the usual stuff, the usual yeah, things. Yeah, just a, it all settles down and back to normal in a, in a little while. But um, yeah, just uh, chilling out otherwise. Luckily for me, we know the old um, usual score about what happens. Like, no, I'm, it's all toxic talk. I can't do it. No, just say it. Nah. <laughs> uh, no all right all right it's it's you know with what happened last season and i, I, I said you know i was broken i'm done with it um yeah i would have watched movies instead of football i made you like you you had good things to do instead of watching the football on oh yeah it was brilliant um and i chose not to watch the game as well because i thought we'd i went to the harvester <laughs> for the first time in my adult life cooper i have not been to a harvester in over two decades. As I, I've, I've never been to one. You've never been to a harvester? Nope. No, yeah, you might have to try it out. It's rather good. Salad bar. Oh, well, see, my neck of the woods, if you say you're going to the harvester, it means you're going to drive a big tractor around a field. Um, no, I'm talking the restaurant. What's that? It's the harvester <laughs> restaurant. No, nah, this, 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 is, this is Dorset. We don't have things like that. No, yeah, all right. Not in Dorchester, anyway. Too small. Salad bowl was fire. I always love a free salad bar. Uh, we got Nick saying toys, toys, toys. Absolutely, yeah. mate. Absolutely. I've, um, I've seen what I need to know about the team for this season, so I'm just waiting for the summer and see what happens. Salad bowl was, yeah. Love the salad bowl. I love a salad bowl. And most importantly, Coover, bacon bits. Just get an oh. entire bowl full of bacon bits. Ba bacon is a condiment to go with bacon. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which I'm I had sure more you're bacon Jewish. Because I, I had chicken and waffles with bacon. You, you don't sound very Jewish at times, Ben. You know that. Everyone knows the most favourite thing of a Jewish person is bacon. Fair enough. Um... Uh, Chris is saying, I was at the Toby Carvery at the weekend. Every early birthday meal for Wednesday. And happy birthday, mate. Happy birthday. Oh, it means your birthday's on Brewing Bollocks Day. That is really kind, isn't it? To have his birthday party early so he can watch Brewing Bollocks. Do a review of the party and then Ben can use it in one of his uh, little Darren or Karen's. Hell yeah. Oh no, Will, Will was Will was firing a grenade into the thing. Uh, what toys? What toys? Uh, um, uh, who likes? Well, oh, for God's sake! Uh, Will is Will is uh, firing a Will Will. Uh, um, 
chicken and box office and bacon. Ooh, I like it. I like it. But what were you up to at the weekend, um, Kiva? Um, I'll, I'll talk in food terms now. It's the easiest one. So Saturday, mm. that was a barbecue, mixed beans and sausage casserole. Ooh. Um, that went down a treat. The kids yeah. loved it. We hoovered that up. No problem. Yeah. And um, I, I was, yesterday, I started preparing all the vegetables and stuff to make a fresh lasagna today. So there's one I'm doing in the slow cooker for the first time to yeah. see how that comes Ooh, out. Okay. Um, I like this comment from Will. The ultimate Jewish conundrum. Free bacon. Uh, yeah, I can see. I can see that. Yeah. Um, Ulti ultimate bit of stereotyping as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Also, yeah. Um, Mickey took us to a Spanish tapas restaurant, which was rather lovely. But it was big tapas. It was like tapas but really quite big portions for tapas. And you would like that like, croquettes, um, chicken skewers, like loads of good bread. It was rather delicious. Sounds like my kind of thing. Well, I'll take you there. Kuva to, to Lincoln confirmed. Ooh, oh, Kuba yeah. Slow Damn confirmed. right to do that. Yeah. Yeah, just start making something. The show's going to last either four or eight hours. I like it. <laughs> just watching you oh let's check the slow cooker ah talk about sorry i was mate i could do it. talk bullshit for four or eight hours yeah i could do that mm. tap ass on steroids yes it was uh is will bobby k in disguise maybe maybe uh tap ass is a ripoff of meze no i don't think so tap ass and meze are two very different things Meze and tapas are two very different things. Ta I, I meze really is think. lots of things on a big plate, and tapas is lots of little things like comes out singularly as two very different things. Don't 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 mess with Mia if she says so. That's the way it is. But it's just it's. Are we learning nothing, mate? We never learn anything in this community. No, that's true. That's well, that's what I've seen. Meze is always a concoction of things that always go together on a big platter. Hence why it's usually called a meze platter. Whereas tapas is always little things. You have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and it all comes on small plates at different times. Two very different things. In my opinion, at least. Um, uh, Jason Bell. Sounds great. I haven't had tapas in it. That, there's a, a lot of different dishes from meze. But there's lots of, but it's always on one platter. At least that's how it is in the UK. I've never been to Greece. I do need to go to Greece at some point. Well, I'm not sure they're going to welcome you at this rate. No, they wouldn't. I insulted their entire coffee scene years ago. Oof. <laughs> Harsh. Harsh. Why did you insult their entire coffee scene? Because it was shit. <laughs> that, that's just a kind of level of bluntness that does not help, mate. I'm yeah. telling you. Uh, tapas is mainly pork and sea insects. Okay. Oh, me is disagreeing. Uh, good morning, Benny Coos and everyone in chat. It's Bobby K. It's Bobby K. It's on loads of different places. I've not seen that in any of the mezzo restaurants I've been, been here, Mia. But we'll have to see. Uh, some quinines are similar. Octopus. What's your thoughts on octopus, Coover? Fine, leave them where they are. <laughs> they don't bother me. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I've got no real need to even eat one. I think I've tried it once. It yeah, just wasn't anything special to me. Yeah, some people absolutely adore it, though. Some people adore it. Good afternoon, Ben Coover and you lot. Good to see you, Mister Jose. Good to see you, mate. Hopefully, all I, well. I could. I could adopt the Carl Pilkington way of looking at it. Yeah. If it doesn't look nice when it's alive, I'm not eating it when it's dead. <laughs> I mean, some people think octopus is beautiful, but also very intelligent things. They're like We're eating things with eight brains. Yeah, it's, it's odd that, isn't it? No, nine brains, because it's got one for the head, and each tentacle is its own separate brain. It's a very complicated set of manoeuvres it has to pull out. Yeah. So, yeah, I can, I can see that. Uh, 
the family ones are pretty good, mate. They're pretty good. Um, it's just, do, you, do you think humans should have a, bra a brain for each limb? Mm, uh, I don't know. I think probably probably best not to. Otherwise, my right arm's going to be arrested yeah. as a sex addict. Yeah, yeah. Octopus is apparently to, if you if I've never eaten octopus and I don't wish to because I don't like the look of it. But apparently, to make octopus not chewy, you've got to freeze it, and that's what makes it not chewy. Apparently, that the cold helps relax it. That's what I've heard. I don't know, but there are many different ways. Woo! Good to see you, Phil P. You want to give him a woo? After the result against Newcastle, we're back down to a woo. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, octopus polypa al halega. No, Hayega is fantastic. I've never had it. Um, some people ate octopus. I rather like them. Yeah, fair enough. We'll, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Usually, usually, but would you agree with me, though, Phil? When you go to a meze restaurant in the UK, it's always on one big platter. It's always on. It's always called a meze platter. Very different because. I've never been to Cyprus. I've never been to... I'm not arguing. I'm just saying the restaurant's here. That's the way they usually present it. Uh, some people would say I barely have one brain. Uh, I, no. I, I must I must admit, the first time I saw the words Mete, Mete Plata, I thought it was a cinema. <laughs> uh, nine more brains than Ben has. That's my brother being horrible to me. As always. Stop, stop the string. Just go and have a fight. All right. <laughs> Promise I wouldn't win, Coo, because I haven't got any muscles. <laughs> you, you've got a lot of hot things in the shop there. Yeah, I can hit him around the head with a porter filter. There we go. That's the spirit. Ah, Phil P is going against me. Phil, we'll sort you out, sunshine. Calamari army. Calamari army. But what is your favourite thing to eat? In oh, we're terms of we're, yeah, we're, we're we always do this. We get us together and we no, talk about nobody food. Nobody really gets bored of talking about food or movies and stuff, do they? So, um, yeah, um, I'll, I'll back again. My all-time favourite is always going to be steak and chips. Yeah, nice, nice chunky chips, big garlic mushrooms, um, those huge steak tomatoes with a bit of a. Uh, Bit of basil and a bit of yeah. uh, balsamic vinegar on them. Mm. Uh, yeah, steak fried and a little garlic butter, a bit of black pepper. Yeah. Um, that'll do me. Cajun chips or just normal steak chips? I'm happy with normal steak chips because the rest of it's got a lot of flavour. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have the oil from the steak and you... Uh... <laughs> Bloody Mickey. Mickey, she's trying to make me blush as she always does. Uh, we got Auntie Kate's in the house. Good to see you, Kate. Hopefully, you're doing better. Good to see you. Uh, we got James, the Tottenham fan. Good to see you, mate. Hopefully, you're all well. Love steak and chips. What is the best cut of steak for you? We'll have ask that to everyone in the chat. What is everyone's favorite cut of steak? Oh, pe people like you know, tender steaks and stuff, but I'm the opposite. Yeah. I like something that takes me half an hour to chew through. So I always, always love rump steaks. Yeah. A rump big, big, big pile of rump steaks and three hours to just sit there chewing my way through yeah. it. That's fine. It's not for me. I quite like the sort of the, I like the halfway. I like a bit of chew, but I want that, I want that marbly flavor. So I do quite like a New York strip, especially if it's on the bone. I do like a New York strip. Uh, yeah, I, I can. In fact, I'll go for any of it. I don't care. Eat yeah. the whole day. Um, oh, my brother's causing issues again. Woo! Um, anyway, let's start a short lift of managers who won't want to come to Edmonton. <laughs> um, you can say that. You can say that. Ribeye. Ribeye is a good one. Ribeye is a good one. Uh, T bone, Ooh. like a T bone. I don't eat steak. How can you not? Someone, no. can you do a toxic alert for that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, you, you I, I, deserve that, James. Yeah, you deserve that. I use your cut with a knife and fork. Okay. That's to, um, well, if you're going to um, be like that, I only cut with the knife. Yeah. Uh, flat iron is my favourite. I picked one up yesterday, probably cooking it. Ooh, flat iron's good. Flat iron is good. Uh, poor Jim is torturing himself. Yeah, he shouldn't be torturing himself. Mistakes happen. People lose their rag. It is... Um, uh, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. It all happens. Everyone loses it's, their rag at some point. Uh, as I would have, if I could have said more at the time, but instead of just being in the chat, um, it's just standard YouTube practice, isn't it? There's always going to be blowouts. There's going to be people calling each other out. You you have to have a bit of a thick skin on these things, but sometimes yeah. you're having a day where it's going to get to you. Other days you can brush it off, and other days um, it, it was like today. So don't yeah. worry about it. Just it, it not Plow coming on time tomorrow it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, Tomahawk is amazing on the rare account. Oh, Tomahawk. Ooh, I can imagine you with a Tomahawk, Kiva. One in each hand. Is that, oh, is that the ones like a huge bone? Yeah. With a massive wad of... Oh, hell yeah. I can imagine you. One in each hand. One in each hand and a look of get the hell away from me. It's mine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I like my fillet. Ooh, a fillet's good. Fillet of beef is always good. Uh, uh, Chabby Alonso, just saying. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Love a good... What is your favourite dip to go with a steak? This is the... This is a, an argument that's been going on for centuries. Are you a creamier steak uh, sauce man? Are you more like a red wine gravy? Are you more like a bone marrow sort of person? I don't tend to have gravies because I, I mine's in your know, really buttery garlic uh, garlicky mm. flavor anyway um so i tend to just go with the natural juices from the steak and that yeah but if i was gonna have a sauce it's gonna be red wine sauce for me yeah red wine based anyway although mm. occasionally i've had things like something you'd really have with a chicken normally like a chasse sauce okay yeah you know quite tomato-y kind of yeah. uh thing a bit of mushrooms onions I think anything, mushroom though. gravy is excellent with a steak, though, because it in even more beef flavor. Beef flavor is always delicious. If you when you rest the steak, take the juices off the plate and make it into a steak sauce. You got to use that flavor. Yeah, that flavor. Works. yeah absolutely. Got to all, use all, it. all gravy, all proper gravy, as far as I'm concerned. You take the juices out of the meat you just cooked yeah. and you make it with that. Yeah. Uh, Bobby is saying gravy, none. If it's cooked correctly, you don't. You, I think a sauce, I oh, a sauce is always good though. Just to have a bit of extra, just have a different dimension. It's quite, quite like a Bernays sauce because you a lot of the things are quite garlicky, and then have you out of Bernays, which is a bit more fragrant because of the tarragon and the shallots. You can give it a bit of a different dimension to it. But I, I do somewhat agree. I do somewhat agree. Nothing. Pepper, cooking a bit of butter, nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, good to see you, Rob. Good to see you, mate. Hopefully, you'll... peppercorn sauce is a very good sauce. Yeah. Peppercorn's delicious. Uh, Philly che Ooh, a Philly cheesesteak's awesome. I've only had that the once, and it was fantastic, but yeah. I could feel my arteries hardening while I was yeah. in it, though. Did you have it with provolone or did you have it with cheese whiz? I couldn't tell you. Because that that is the <clears throat> that is the argument in Philadelphia. You either have it with provolone cheese or you have it with wit whiz. As like, and you do have it with onions. Do you have it with peppers? It's, it's all depends. Oh well, I, I had it in California, so I suppose you yeah. could say it wasn't a, a an authentic uh, yeah. Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. Uh, but um, it was good. Yeah. Ooh, Ian has got it on the, on the money. Bit of soy sauce for the umami. It's it's that last part for me. Don't complicate it. I yeah. totally agree. Yeah. What would you say is your, was your, you like it? Are you a rare or you're a medium rare? Or are you a, I kind of, I kind of changed over time. When I was younger, I'd, I'd even have it blue, but nobody yeah. does that anymore. Um, uh, so I went rare, and I'm kind of I favour more medium rare now. I think. 
Yeah. It's got off that little bit of pink to it, but not much. I think the pink is like when it when it's at its best, I think, because it's soft. Yeah. But you still have that tiny bit of chew to it. You've got to have that a bit of chew. Yeah, so you can so you can squeeze it and the, you don't hear a lot, but if you squeeze it really yeah. hard, you can still hear a faint moo. Yeah. Uh, Stuart's saying it differs for me. I like anyway or without peppercorn, Diane, nothing red wine. Variety is the, absolutely sure. Yeah. yeah. Variety is good. Always provolone from Bobby. Oh, cheese whiz is processed garbage, but sometimes processed garbage is delicious. Sometimes it's delicious. Uh, rare. I want it still breathing. Okay. Used used to be my usual one. Just uh, how do you like it? Uh, rip its horns off, wipe its ass, and wheel it on in. <laughs> oh, you could still eat it. It'd be totally fine with you. <laughs> oh yeah. Go out. That's the Viking way. Rip the leg off. <laughs> Pr pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um. Ian is saying ribeye steak, medium rare with Dijon mustard and chive butter. That sounds good as well. Yeah, that would work. Uh, tapas are quality and have been around for centuries in Spain. The tapas restaurant in Lincoln was particularly very, very good. It was very tasty. I would ha massively recommend it if you're in the Lincoln area. Really, really good. Great service. Great drinks. Really, really good. Um Good afternoon, Tezza. Good to see you, mate. Good afternoon, Coffee in Cuba. Hopefully you're both doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, yeah, steak is so versatile. I, lo I love a steak. Love a steak. Um, there's something so simple about it. I don't I understand why people overcomplicate steak and have to do all these different things. I'd say the same with fish as well. Yeah. So you, you're supposed to get the flavour of the, the thing it is in the first place yeah. to come the through. Spanish are the best at fish, aren't they? Because they are very simple, aren't they? Olive oil, maybe a tiny <laughs> bit of garlic on the planter. The, the Spanish are very simple. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> simple cooking oh, is the best Jose, way. are you listening to this? Don't take it, mate. Jose would agree with me. The Spanish <laughs> keep it really simple when it comes to fish. On the planter, olive oil. Oh, yeah, of course. The that that is, I, I, I'm not a fish, but if I was a, someone that was able to eat fish, that's how you'd want it on the barbecue in the summer. Delicious. And any country with a lot of coastline is going to have to know how to do fish. Well. Yeah, well, that, that's it at the end of the day. Big up, Colin. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Oh, Ian's got a great question. Next thing, what to drink with a steak? For me, it's red wine. Red wine is what goes with a steak. Absolutely. A really good one. Really easy drinking, fruity, nothing too fancy, but something that's going to really go down nicely and give you a bit of a... I mean, if I'm if I'm having a really quality red uh, steak, then I want a quality red wine as well. Yeah. Something really full-bodied and, yeah. you know, it, it sticks to the side of the glass. When it's you either one it. of the two, isn't it, though, Cooper? It's either full-bodied or really, like, something to wash it down, like a Pinot Noir or something. It's either got to be... You can't have something in the middle because it's going to be like it's going to be clashing the flavors. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It's, it's all in one way or another, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or if you're if you're having a Tennessee style steak, you get some Tennessee whiskey. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I can. I can do I love that. a bourbon. I a bourbon would be great. Uh, red wine. Red wine's great. But yeah, red wine. Red wine is what I have with a steak. It's, it's got to be. Um. Bit late. Good afternoon, everyone. Good to see you, Tom. But yeah, uh, Marcus, I don't like red wine, to be honest. You've got to find the right one. That's the thing about wine. Everyone's got one that's going to suit them the best. And, that, and that's the beauty of wine because of the amount of different flavour combinations yeah, there are. True. You've got to find the right one for you. There's, there's some that's so sweet and fruity. It's almost like a fruit juice, a grape juice yeah. rather than yeah. wine. Yeah. And yet some of them can be so dry it will catch the back of your throat. Yeah, um, Fanta, orange. Yeah, I like it. Well, with a steak, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Um, a good bourbon sauce is good. Just burn off the alcohol and, ooh, delicious, delicious. A steak and red wine. It's it's, it's a classic combination, right, Kiva? Yeah, absolutely. 
e even with the lasagna I've got in the slow cooker. Yeah, it's, it's minced. It's minced steak. To, yeah, in the, in the sauce, and I've got one of those tiny little bottles of red wine. Just put the whole thing in with Shove it. Shove it in there. Yeah. I when are you gonna are you gonna put it in a pan to reduce it though? Because a slow cooker always it doesn't reduce the amount of liquid in the pan. Are you gonna put it in the yeah in the pan as well and cook it? I've, off? I've already I've already made the uh, sauce in a pan and let that, yeah. that, that, that simmer down a lot and then construct the lasagna. Yeah. But I mean, it's a slow cooker. I've got to have a bit of uh, liquid in there, otherwise. Yeah, you've got to have a tiny nice. bit of liquid. But I, yeah. I always like my like lasagna sauce to be quite thick. I like it when it's thick and a bit solid. Oh, yeah. I've, I've not tried. I've not tried making it in a slow cooker before. Um, so give it I'm a go. Yeah, it's always good. Like, you have extra flavour. I'll, I'll film it and send it to you, mate. At the at, mm. the, at, the, at, the, at the cutting stage. Uh, if my brother is still here, the one of the best things we both ate when we were in Scotland was a freshly caught venison lasagna. That was ridiculous. Yeah, uh, that man. was ridiculous. Um, I never really liked venison before that because uh, I always thought it was too gamey for me. But with a bit of tar with a bit of a bit of um, like herby spices, with your red wine, with your, it's just fantastic. And, and there's a couple of other things that I, I I absolutely love. I mean, one of them, go out on the uh, fjords in Norway, catch yeah. fresh fish, cook it on the beach. You know, just minutes yeah. after you caught it, sort of thing. That is fantastic. Midnight sun. You yeah, know, really, really enjoyable time. Um, so chill. And then yeah. when I was doing that, I realized, ah, this is why the Americans like hunting so much. Get yeah. out there, kill something fresh, eat it out there in the yeah. wilderness. So, yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, the Australians I, I, as well. Australians, yeah, as well. absolutely, absolutely. Uh, might need to try more, more than good reason to buy some. Yeah, absolutely. If if you've got one, Mark, I don't know where you live. Um, find a, a place that's doing wine tastings. A lot of places, like a, a really good wine bars, will do, like, let's, let's say they'll do a Spanish uh, wine night and they'll have loads of different, like, Riocas and things. Some nights will do a, and, it's, and you'll, you'll pay like 30 quid or something and you'll try like eight glasses of wine. And you'll think, I didn't really like some of those. I like this one more than this one. And you start to develop the, the flavor palette. And you start to you start to learn things, and a, and a trained sommelier is going to teach you where to teach, where to taste, what to be looking for, what part of the mouth is saying, sending what signals to your brain. It's a it's a great thing. Um, but yeah, uh, lemon venison, yeah, haggis lasagna. I don't That's see an why interesting not. One. I don't see. Yeah, that could be delicious. Uh, that venison pie I ordered when we went to Greenwich was taste. Yeah, it was. That was a really good pie. I, I did have I did have a Rogan Josh lasagna a few months back, and that was fantastic. Ooh. Lamb, lamb, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's going to be delicious. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm in Scotland. Ben, more whiskey tasting than what there are. There are wines in Scotland. You you can find a wine bar in Scotland. Uh, at Ben, the reason people mess around with food is so they can charge more. Simples, yeah. I agree with you, mate. I agree with you. Never going to watch Master Chef again. Benjit and Kiva talk food and drink. Works for me. That's a TV show we can start, Kiva. I'm up for it. Let's do it. If, if it all goes tits up with a club in the summer, I'm done with football streams next Food season, channel. Of food channel, food and pets. Yeah, absolutely. But not pets in the food. We don't like that. Haggis Let's cater pepper. for all tastes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Barry Venison, good player back in the day. Barry Venison. Uh, yep. Yeah. What would you? What would we call our food channel? Um. Mm, interesting. That's a, everyone in the chat. What would Coover and I call our food channel? Q the hairy roasters. I like it. That would that could work. <laughs> Drew La La is in the house saying big up Vancouver and chat. Good to see her. Good to see her. Oh, that's an interesting one. Hairy roasters sound really good. Crock pots. Crock pots. Cooking bollocks. 
I like it. <laughs> Cooking bollocks, why not? <laughs> One of those Turkish recipes, presumably. Yeah. Or Egyptian. Or Egyptian, yes. Um, there, there are some good ones. There are some good ones. Um, what would oh, Kuja they, and I when, 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 I was in, when I was in Turgatrace uh, in Turkey, uh, one night they did come out with some roasted bollocks. So, you know, you've got to, you've got to try it, haven't you? But <laughs> no, just no. It was disgusting. <laughs> Coover has eaten bollocks. You've heard it here on this show. Well, chewed bollocks and then spat bollocks out would be more Okay, <laughs> Coover has chewed on bollocks. He's heard it here first. The naked chefs, no, no one wants to see that. <laughs> oh, come on. We could do an OnlyFans cooking special. <laughs> <laughs> do you like sausage? <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Yeah, that's it. That's it, isn't it? Ben and Coombs sausage fest. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Mia's Mia is throwing <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, well, Mia is now scarred for life. Mir is now scarred for life. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah, but it's an interesting one. It is, isn't it? I mean, what, what's do we? If we're doing a cooking show, do we do all aspects? I, mean, I think starters, so. Main meals, desserts. The we whole have lot. a starter. We have. We need to bring Bobby on. We need to figure out which one of us is the best at what thing, and then that one's the starter expert. One of them is the main course expert, and which one's the dessert expert? Oh, or we take our, our different backgrounds and apply it to a standard English dish, for example. Yeah, and turn it turn it into turn it into a Jewish style one, turn it into a Viking style one, and turn it into um oh whatever Bobby is, they all look the same to me style. <laughs> I mean that works. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, Chef Boyardee's boys, I like it. I like it. Uh, more bangers than a toad in the hole. <laughs> um, I go and make a cup of tea and come back to hear Ben and Coover's sausage fest. <laughs> <laughs> the sharing cooks, I like it. I like it. Uh, hi, Leo. Oh, hi, buddy. Leo. Hello, hi, Leo. Hi, Leo. Yeah. Hi. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've got it. The, the Garth Cooks. Yes. Garth Cooks. I like it. There we go. The I worst guess. cooking show, says Ian. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like it. The Kosher Viking. I like it. I can see that. A kippah with Viking horse coming out of it. And we could do the dessert specials like Juicy Puns. I like it. We're making the show. The worst cooking show. But it would be the Vush cooking show. The Vust. Vush. Big up Vush. But have you ever had Vush before? No. I'm not going to know of. I'm not, maybe I'm I have to send you some Bloom's Vush. Oh my God. Vush and eggs in the morning is the greatest thing. What? Just go on, talk us through it. Vush is beef salami. It's kosher beef salami. I'm in. I'm in. Well, it's please. absolutely so, fantastic. I probably eggs. have had something similar then. It is, my God. So salty, but so fatty, but crispy. You can have it cold as well, but I don't like it cold. Salty, fatty, crispy. Are we talking about AFTV? Yes. All right, okay. Yes. It's good. But good to see you, Leo. Hopefully you're well. Only two, 12 days, I believe it is. When do you fly to the UK, Leo? At some point, let us know. we got to go and meet Leo. Got to get Leo down to Dorset. How can we get Leo down to Dorset so you can finally give him a fist bump? Just that. 
at some point I will be heading up there, up, mate. Because it's well, um, you got to go to Denver. Yeah, why not? Let's All do right. that. We'll just turn up on the ninth one time at Leo, so I'll be fine. The problem is, I think that would that would actually be really cool because to get his yeah. family would all turn up. Mexican food, oh Mexican food. Oh, I love Mexican food. Mexican food is. Oh, what, what would be a steak done Mexican style? Oh, Leo, what is steak? There are so many Mexican steak dishes though. Steak fajitas. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that. Carnitas, yeah. tacos. I'm I'm instantly thinking sort of you know beans and sliced up beans. steak tortilla. Yeah, you, you're starting to get there already, aren't you? Yeah, delicious. Vushed over Viennas every day. Yep, I agree with you. Vushed is fantastic. I'll be there next Thursday. Come over. To, uh, uh, no, next Thursday I will be in Cornwall, so I will see you at the Arsenal game probably. Um, when we see you, we'll we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Um. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, start in Mexican food. And Mexican food is so underrated, isn't it? I think people see Mexican food as uh, tacos, tortillas, and things like that. There's so much awesome stuff when it comes to Mexican food that people don't usually see in restaurants. It's so versatile. Absolutely. Sada, dug to me nicely. Got to have that. But, but, the, but the same as any kind of uh, nation's food. You gotta to talk to the people that actually know what they're doing with it. You yeah, absolutely. Just, it's you sort of go into an English restaurant anywhere and you, you ask for something like a chili con carne, it's not gonna uh, No, it's not gonna, it's gonna work. Really, nah. Um how long for Leo? How where are you staying? He's asking. Oh Stuart's Stuart's going get chicken soup out for Leo. Got it. But yeah. Love Mexican food. Mexican food is one of the food types that I wish was bigger in the UK. It just isn't a thing in the UK. There are a few Mexican places, but they're chains, aren't they? There isn't like mum and pup Mexican restaurants like they have in the US all the time, which is excellent. But yeah, I think it. I think as well pays o, pays to be over at sort of West Coast America yeah. as well. Um, because obviously you've got the South American influence then, haven't you? Mm. The whole of Mexico push over. But you also get some of the um, stuff from the likes of Chile and places like that. Yeah. And it all creeps into the culture as well. So um, I remember a couple of years back, I was, I was making a... I wanted to make an authentic Chilean... Uh, proper proper chili. Yeah. And um, uh, Because I'd heard, you know, they put cocoa in it and things like that. I thought, well, that sounds yeah. really novel. So I ended up looking it up online. I thought, no, I'm not going to go with like a Jamie Oliver or some crap like that. I'm, I'm going to look for somebody that does authentic stuff. So I thought, I'll yeah, find yeah. a Chilean uh, chef doing it. And I found this channel that was run by a Chilean woman. And yeah. There was there was no subtitles or anything. So I had to just guess what she was saying, look yeah. at the measurements of what she was doing. It was great. I yeah. loved it. <laughs> Amazing stuff. South American food is what that um, in Italy I had Argentinian steak restaurants are legendary. Mm. Uh, the food they're legendary. Like all the all the different sauces and things that goes with it, fantastic. So many Arge good stuff. Argentinian beef always used to be a big thing, didn't it? Um, yeah. yeah, over in this country as well, till the Falklands, and then uh, yeah, then then it sort of got, became less popular. I think we still get a lot of corned beef from Argentina though. Yeah, we do. Uh, like we replaced Argentinian cuisine with a lot of Brazilian cuisine, which is similar but very different at the same time. Yeah. Same sort of rustic way of cooking it, but not the same. Not the same, but some good stuff. Uh, there are some. Okay, here's, here's the one for. Oh, sorry. Go on. Go on. No, no say it, Coos. <coughs> I was going to say the question to think of then is um. Which country's cuisine haven't you had yet, but you really want to try it? Oh, I've had Moroccan, I've had Greek, Turkish, uh, my home culture. Um, I've had Arabic food, American food, Canadian food. I don't know, to be honest. 
I'd like to try Scandinavian style food because I've had bits of it in like Epcot and things, but I've not tried authentic. But the problem is with a lot of uh, Scandinavian food, it's fish based, and I don't like fish at all. I don't like the flavor. Oh, no, there's, 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 there's a lot of other stuff as well. Yeah, I, need to, I do need to go to Scandinavia at some point. We've got South African food here. We've got Nando's. I want, to try, I want to try something really out there, sort of like... South African food is apparently awesome. Traditional Maori dishes and things like that. That would be interesting. That would that. Be, that's a good one. Uh, uh, the great Mexican restaurants all over the US, the trick is to pick one and just say it's daiquiri on the side. Yep. But yeah, I do want to try some South, uh, South African food. is very interesting. That's very rustic as well in terms of like big bits of meat. Delicious. Um, uh, I don't know. We might talk about that tomorrow. Norwindian cuisine. <laughs> Norwindian. I like it. Damn right. Anything Indian fusion would be great. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. What's what's the cuisine you would like to try, Kuva, that you've never had before? Is it like oh, Maori? Yep, Maori, anything like that. Um any of these really unusual sort of even lost cultures almost. Yeah. Stuff that I've never heard. I mean, I haven't done really a lot of Arabic sort of cooking, but I'd like to try, you know, authentic flatbreads and things from yeah. the regions and you know that um things like that when they have those little tiny cups of tea that the in yeah. the little yeah. clear cup, and I thought What's that going to be? Maybe a Marrakesh tea or something like yeah. that from Morocco. Those sorts of... I'd just like to cruise all over the world there, just trying all the different... You learn most about a culture yeah. by the food they eat. Yeah, and if they shoot at you. And if they shoot at you. <laughs> um, Scandinavian is probably the trendiest at the moment. In higher end, I, that I can... Yeah, Scandinavian food is expensive. There's a lot of preparation. Yeah. I like English food, like pizza and Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> damn right damn right but on that note kids yeah. it's time to end the show um when can we next find you wednesday right yeah I'll, i'm trying unless to think, you come yeah. on tomorrow um, you're always welcome here kids <laughs> fair cheers man yeah um yeah other than that um i don't know what with bobby and Kay and i are we if we're doing a thursday show or not um you know things are kind of chilled at the moment aren't they um yeah well, if we're there, we're there. That's that's where I look at it. Great stuff, but brilliant. Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. We will be back tomorrow on Tottenham on tour at nine a.m. tomorrow morning with David from Morning Brews, and of course, we will be back here tomorrow afternoon at two p.m. Uh, thank you all so much for watching today's show. Have a brilliant rest of the day, and as always, if you smell what the cough is. Brewing, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great and rest of the day. Cooking. And also, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Ciao for now. I still love you. Wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of